Meanwhile, preparing for the worst, the Batesville Fire Department's repel team was called out for the first time yesterday to assist another agency with a car accident. The Pleasant Plains Fire Department was dispatched to an accident on Highway 167 in town on Tuesday evening. The car had driven off the roadway and traveled down a steep embankment. Due to the steepness of the embankment, crews from the Batesville Fire Department were called to assist including members of the department's repel team. This is one of the first calls the team has been on and Hayden Savage tells us how it went. Yeah, hey Macy, we all know the terms that seconds matter whenever it comes to responding to an emergency, whether that be a car accident, a house fire or anything like that. But it's also crucial to have the correct equipment to make sure that you can get to those people in a timely manner. A lot of these situations we have to get there fast and you know, time matters. <laughs> On Tuesday, Batesville Fire's repel team got their first call. Pleasant Plains Rescue got paged after a single vehicle accident that was down a ravine. When first responders saw how steep the embankment was, that's when the team was requested. One of our guys that works here with us, he also staffs one of the trucks, the rescue unit at Pleasant Plains. Whenever he got on scene, he figured out that we are going to need some extra equipment. That's when members of the team suited up. Roughly 200 feet down a ravine, like on a, uh, it's like a drainage culvert. There was a vehicle that was laying on its side. It still had two occupants inside. Without the repel team yesterday, first responders would have been forced to go down, then climb the ravine. Using the repelling equipment yesterday helped ensure the safety of not only first responders, but also victims. Steep terrain the way that it was, the rocks, the boulders, the trees, one little slip on a rock, it could have sent a rock further down the hill entering somebody else that was down there with the vehicle. Some of this equipment, it actually keeps us steady on our feet, so we're not going to slip, trip, or fall. Like mentioned, this is the first time the repel team has been called out since its formation last year. Fire Captain Randy Jones explained the inspiration for the team came from just wanting to be better prepared. Seeing our area and seeing the type of accidents or, or something that we might have, we, we just want to be prepared. As they and a few other departments on this side of the state have the needed training and equipment around here. I think it's us and Newport Walnut Ridge and I think Cersei all have rope teams. So we we kind of do our county in Batesville. Hayden Savage K8 News.